Dublin says hello. Welcome to the SSC Airship City Dublin Marathon. Once more, we are lined up in Fitzwilliam Square, beautiful Georgian Dublin. We proceed up Fitzwilliam Place, to turn right onto the Eastern Street. Be careful of the traffic islands. Runners, mind yourself and mind each other. Runners, at this stage, usually use two sides of the road. We are now approaching the Coombe. Again, be careful of the traffic island. We are turning right onto Patrick Street. This crossroads is known locally as Devil's Crossroads, as the working man had to pass four pubs on his way home from work. As we approach our first drag of the day, and as we swing left, again, watch out for the traffic island. On our left, we see the Guild Hall, down the hill towards the Liffey our first respite of the day onto the keys it's down towards Guinness's and turn right over James Joyce Bridge into Stony Batter a slight incline from here and we swing left at Kavanagh's Corner watch the cobbles we turn left onto the North Circular Road as we go down the North Circular Road we approach the park and pass to our first water station Hydrate early and hydrate often. As we come through the gates of the park, be careful as the road narrows. Immediately we come across a lot of street furniture at the Trolley Island. Be careful here. We turn on to Lord's Walk and up to the Chesterfield Avenue and the Four Mile Mark. We are now heading towards the Phoenix Monument. The surface is good. However, we're still on a slight incline. To the right of the monument is the Auris, the President's residence. To the left is the American Ambassador's residence. And on the corner here, the 10K mark and another water station. As we exit the park, be careful. The gates narrow the road considerably here. We are now in Fingal County Council. Ten six mile mark on your right and a water station and the 10k mark soon after. We have yet another entertainment zone. Face painters, DJ. This gives the runner some respite as it's slightly downhill as we head towards the Knock Maroon Gate. Turn left and we soon hit the eight mile mark. We now turn right out of the park through the chapel at gates. We now come on to Cunningham Road, a water station, first aid station. We now cross the Liffey once more. We swing left here and on to the first real challenge of the day, St Lawrence's Hill. As we come over the crest of the hill, we now enter the suburb of Ballyfermot. We turn right down under the bridge. and we come to the 11 mile mark at Cleary's pub. Watch out for the traffic box at this junction. We are now proceeding towards Kamenham Jail. There is a slight incline here. We now turn left. As we pass James's, we turn right and into Rialto. As we run through Rialto, we approach the 12 mile mark. Once more, we start steady incline up the Crumman Road. We have another entertainment zone on the Barn Bridge here on your left to come to our next water station where there is Lucas Aid available. As we leave the water station behind us and our next major traffic box of the day, please pay attention to the stewards and Gardaí. As we swing left onto Walkinstown Road we pass the Halfway House pub. We are now approaching the Walkinstown roundabout. There is an entertainment zone provided. We turn down Cromersforth Road, approaching the 15 mile mark. 
we turn right off Kimmage Road West into Fort Field. At the KCR, there is an entertainment zone, DJs and face painting once more. We come to the 17 mile mark and also the Tipperary Water and High Five Gel Station. You now turn left onto Temple Oak Road. Again, a lovely running surface. As we make our way down Temple Oak Road, we enter Terranur Village. On our right, we have a cheering zone with face painters, magicians, and take a right turn onto Orwell Road. We turn left into Orwell Park. We pass the 19 mile mark, water station, and the 30k mark also. Once again, the incline is favorable. As we proceed down Milltown Road, we start another incline. We quickly approach the 20 mile mark for the Lucas Aid station, water station, and of course, first aid. We now leave Milltown, turn right, and go into the suburb of Klonski. We pass through the 21 mile mark. As we leave the Klonski Road and head onto Roebuck Road, we now start our second last incline of the day as we run through the 22 mile mark and approach Dublin's version of Heartbreak Hill. Listen out for your name. The DJ will know you personally. As we progress down the bypass, we have full use of the bus lane and take advantage of the slip road up to UCD. We take a right turn here and we go down the opposite slip road. The slip road is fully coned and marshalled. We make our way off the Stalorgan Bypass and down Nutley Lane. As we come to the bottom of Nutley Lane, there is another water station with first aid. We turn left onto Merrion Road. As we go past the British Embassy, Clayton Hotel, and we come up to the RDS. We reach mile 25. As we approach North Cumberland Road and the Finishing Strait, we pass by the Azix cheering zone. As you leave behind our Clumlin Road and pass the 26 mile mark, your goal is in sight. Congratulations and well done.